Alright, this is going to be my quick tutorial on how to play Project M on Dolphin. First thing you do is um, make a folder on your desktop and then you're going to download um, let's see, one, two, th three things at minimum and you're also going to need a, a Brawl ISO. The first thing you download is um, Dolphin Netplay version 4.0 dash 515 this can also be used for melee online uh, and then you just extract it anywhere you want and leave it outside of the new folder you just created and you can delete the zip if you want or the 7 zip whatever and um, next thing you're gonna go to project dem site and download the homebrew option Wi-Fi safe version you can either uh, download it from here or I'll have a a uh, alternate download in the description below which is this media fire upload and then the last file you're gonna download is this project M v3 ISO builder which I'll also link I'll link pretty much everything except the brawl ISO you're gonna have to find your own magically somehow what the hell pop up uh, I never get pop ups what the fuck? all right anyway so you download each of the files. You only need one. You only need one homebrew Wi-Fi, either from MediaFire if Project M website is down. But you should get it from the Project M website. So once you have all the files, what you do is have your folder open, put your Brawl ISO in the folder, and then ha I extract all of the files independently to the same folder that is they shouldn't be in their parent folder and the same is true for the homebrew set you extract them to the same folder all the individual files and now you can delete these first thing you do is delete rsbe 01.gct delete that i shift delete permanent but doesn't matter and then you're gonna go into the codes folder copy it or cut no no you should cut and then paste to the main folder and to as in to replace the old one after that what you're gonna do is find build ISO v3 dot bat or windows batch file sort by type to find and then you right click uh, run as admin type any key press 1 enter 1 enter oh um you can also use wbfs uh on the last part yeah, I'll just restart really quick um <coughs> so you run as admin 1 for project m you can either use the wbfs version of uh, a file format for for Wii games or you can use an iso I'm, I'm in this example I'm going to be using an ISO just one and then two make a new save slot uh, you can type anything but one and enter so I use two and then yes you know, make sure that your um, command prompt looks like mine just uh, check it out really quick and continue and it'll start doing its thing and creating the new ISO soon and this will take um, however much time it takes depending on your source and target drive speed which should be the same and also never mind uh, like depending on if you have a slower hard drive or a faster hard drive or an SSD I personally have an SSD and also probably depending on stuff like RAM and CPU but more than anything it'll be the hard drive so this will take anywhere from um, one to four maybe five minutes depending on what you have so I'm just gonna sit through it because I'm not gonna edit this so yep I'll just sit here and wait I'll have a link to the part where this is over if you can't wait or I'll mention it later but just let it do its thing 
and a few more things will happen besides this uh, initial whatever it's doing hmm. you just gotta wait it out so it looks like mine is taking it's a little over a minute and a half not too bad and it's copying all this other junk and now it's creating an ISO it's going to take some more time again uh, this will take longer or faster depending on your drive setup like if you have RAID 0 SSDs 6 shit and it'll be faster. <coughs> or if you have a laptop hard drive, it's gonna be slow. You can just go get some food or something, and just flap your lips, go talk to somebody. But um, yeah, it'll it'll take a while either way. It's not instant. So it'll create the new ISO in the same folder as everything and it's done resulting file should have this name project m underscore rsbe pm underscore k dash sav dot iso that should be the resulting file and then you put this wherever you store your isos or games for dolphin in this example I'm going to just put it right in this folder and I have another dolphin installed on my computer somewhere else, so it is what it is. Now, you don't need this folder anymore. You can, you might as well delete Brawl. It's not even a good game. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to delete that whole folder. So, that's gone. And now, you put this new ISO wherever you want, where, wherever all your games are, GameCube and Wii. And then you launch um, Dolphin. So I need to navigate to my desktop. Oops, shouldn't have opened at the moment. But yeah, you just need to check if it's uh, if it's um, if it works. So first thing you do is you browse to whatever folder and set it. And refresh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you can add multiple folders. All right, neat. So whatever. Um. <coughs> after which, you're gonna have to go to config, we, and then make sure that insert SD card is unchecked, and you should be done with the setup. Now to play online, you right click. Um, the Smash Bros. The Super Smash Brothers Project M, and then you you click host netplay game. Uh, you click copy and then you paste the code that it gives you to the person that you're going that you're gonna play with and then what they do is click um, tools and then connect to netplay and then paste the code in this box and then click connect it's really simple really easy I don't even think you need to port forward anymore and basically you're gonna need to test Project M and the, the Dolphin settings on your own. So it's going to vary depending on your computer specifications. And as you test, you have to make sure that, oh shit, uh, I have to make sure that you don't create a save file. And if you do, 
all you do is uh, right click project M and open we save folder delete everything and it should be good to go again just make sure that you do not create a save file for uh, for brawl when you play because when you go online and play uh, it doesn't use saves that's what's special about this dolphin if, if I remember correctly and uh, that should be it to play project M um, hope you found this guide helpful. Peace.